Shalom, shalom. Man, a lot of men are falling into the, the snares and the traps that are causing a lot of mental health issues, depression, by the societal norms and expectations of what a man should be. Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, if you as a man allow societal expectations and women to shape your values and character as a man, you will be riding a never-ending roller coaster. You know, there's men out there that are struggling with mental health issues and depression, uh, all kind of issues because they don't meet the expectations that society, that the culture, the community is putting on men. Okay, let me ask you this. You got men out there that think that they have to send their kids to private schools you got men out there that think that uh, their kids need to have name brand clothes, that their kids each need to have their own bedroom, that their kids each need to have their own TVs and cell phones and all of this. You know, you got women that think that uh, they, they, they deserve a man supposed to take them on a lavish vacation every year. You know, a man is supposed to uh, allow them to have shopping sprees and things like that to be able to spend money. You know, you got women out there that say, I want a millionaire. A lot of women, they feel like that. I want a millionaire. I want a man to make $500,000 or more a year. But the snare is men realize, okay, in order to make that kind of money, I'm going to have to put in a lot of work. That work is going to remove me from the house. But women that have men like that, indecisive women that truly don't know what they want, they say, well, he makes good money, he makes a whole lot of money, that's not the problem. The problem is he works too much. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's what you wanted. He's never here. We don't never have time to spend any quality time. And these women is not telling you that uh, they're going out blowing the bag. They'll spend the hell out of your money. You know, they're, they're, they're taking these trips funded by the man. I'm telling you as a man, man, you don't have to live up to that expectation. You don't have to live up. That's gonna, that's gonna constantly uh, keep you, uh, you know, depressed, not confident. I tell you, man, you gotta think. We're so accustomed to having so much more than we actually need, we become ungrateful. As a man, my job is to make sure my kids got shoes on their feet. I'll be damned if somebody, uh, you know, if I live on a homestead and I'd rather buy my kid one pair of boots and let them grow out of them before I buy another pair. Elsewhere, you got people thinking that they're supposed to have $100, $200 shoes on. I blow all my money on all this vanity that people really don't care about. You know, here's another one. You got a man out there that pays child support and, and, and is not in his home trying to do right. And every year he's getting a phone call from the child's mother. Hey, they need this and that for school. But it never comes to think, okay, that child had a backpack last year. Only thing they carried in it was one of these little eBooks. Backpacks ain't getting used the way they used to. I'm not buying no another backpack. Let them wear that backpack. Forget what the kids at school say, the friends say. They ain't paying no bills. See, there's a lot of expectations that as a man you cannot fall into. You got women out there that don't work, 
don't pay the bills, got a good man, and you know where they want to shop? They want to shop at Whole Foods and Target. See, my job as a provider is not to let you do what you want to do. My job is to give you the basics to be able to build with, to have something to cook with. You know, it, it, this stuff is telling you social media and this culture, this wicked, rebellious culture has caused so much far, far-fetched stuff to become the norm. You know, uh, if a man can provide a roof over a woman's head, you know what I'm saying? And she don't have to deal with an infestation and all of that. You know, this can be a, uh, you got to think, man, you got single women out there living in four, five bedroom houses, wonder why they struggling and they mind that made sense to them. Don't make no daggone sense. You got to understand me. You have to, as a man say, Hey, there's no need for us living like this. There's no need every holiday come around. I'm not supposed to, supposed to hand you a wad of money to go spend at Black Friday when we don't even need half this crap. We got a working TV in here. Every year, the expectation is got to have new. You know, you got, you got women out there that want men to spend money on very lavish stuff. But if you take these women to some lavish places, they don't know how to act. Class is not even it is not even in their repertoire. You got women out there that expect a man to buy them red bottoms. And they don't even have nowhere to wear these red bottoms too. They want to stunt with red bottoms in Walmart. It don't make no sense. This is why, this is why I choose to live simple. I choose to live simple. You know, my kids, they're not getting their own room. You're gonna get a bunk bed and you're gonna clean it and hey, that's that's what I'm providing for you. See, a lot of men have done a good job at providing, I'll say that. But the expectation from women is, I'm not gonna take my child to go buy some kid, buy some shoes that's on sale, you know, uh, that, that that's cost effective. No, I'm not about to do that. No, I want my baby to be able to have two pairs of Jordans on his feet starting out the beginning of the school year, just to sit, why did, why are we sit, spending so much money sending these kids to sit there and they ain't learning nothing? You gotta understand, you know, uh, expectation will be for a man to pay the daycare bill. Man, pay all the bills, right? Okay, man paying the daycare bill uh, for two kids, thousand dollars a month, struggling, like, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. And you look at the woman in the little job she's making, what she's making doesn't equate to paying that much in daycare. She could be homeschooling them kids. That's why I said, man, you cannot live up to this expectation of the culture, of society, what they put on the men. Man, if I can take you to the store, get some clothes to put on your back, if I can keep that refrigerator stocked up, I can keep these lights on, keep a roof over your head, keep the car maintained, Man, I'm good. If I can be a spiritual covering, I'm good. You see what I'm saying? That's a simple. You got to think, man, the most high y'all is not looking at you as a provider. Well, you put $150 Jordans on your kids. Your wife was walking around in, in, in red bottoms. You really loved her. No, he ain't looking at that. He's not looking at that. He's like, he's looking at, okay, did you provide her with the word if you said you had it? If you said you was living in truth, what did you do? Uh, to cover your kids spiritually. Uh, did you ne did you neglect your kids the basics? You got to understand. Uh, I grew up I grew up on pay less shoes and I got an amazing work ethic. You're not going to meet you're not going to meet 95% of men that will outwork me. It just ain't going to happen. You know why? Because the focus wasn't on being fly. The focus on was the focus was on working hard. That's what was instilled into me. You see what I'm saying? So I tell you, man, you gotta think with these first date expectations. You got women that know that they're not worth a day. Want a man to, to shape to the norm of the date got to be $300, it can't be a chain restaurant. Get your trifling butt out of here. Don't live up to that mess. You know, if a, you as a woman, you should be thankful if a man, uh, you know, say, hey, let's let's go grab a bite for lunch. 
and can take you to uh, Subway, get you a, a, a drink, a, a, a beverage, a bag of chips. That's a free meal you didn't have to pay for. Shut your mouth and say thank you. Be grateful. I be like, I couldn't be out here. My wife would tell you, man, I, I like, I keep it 100% real. I'm not, I couldn't be out here and I'm, I'm sitting up here paying uh, 80, 80, 90 dollars trying to have a nice little date. You know, don't even have to be nowhere expensive for two people. And that's like, that's on the high end. I was paying 60, 80 dollars to have a nice date, maybe a couple of little drinks, nice little meal, you know, appetizer. And here you are tooting your nose up, ain't paying for nothing. Man, I smack all that food off your plate. Nobody living up to that mess. But I tell you, you got a lot of men out here suffering uh, depression and mental illness because they think they're not good enough. No, you just, you are just living up to the norms of society. You're striving to live up to the norms of society instead of living by the will of the Most High Yah. That's the difference. I'm not worried about what these people say and they don't, they ain't got nothing to do with my judgment and, and my salvation. You out of your dog on mine. You out of your mind. But these people will, will let, that, as long as you are naive enough to sit up and let them expectations be put on you, they will consistently ask, oh, you know, uh, you got, you got women that's doggone, uh, you know, late on their doggone rent will sit up and tell you, oh, I want to live in a house, $300,000. Let me tell you something. If they got houses that you can afford as a man in your city and they are $100,000, might got a little age on them, might have to have a little TLC, hey, that's going to have to do. That's going to have to do. But it's better than doggone what you got. Better than what you got. You got to understand. Let me break something down. Society would rather you take out a 30-year mortgage, be in debt, than to pretty much like where I live, I see people living out of metal buildings. These prefab metal buildings that they can put up in a day. I see people live out of these in order to build their houses debt free. And they get out there and build them. But society won't tell you that. Society will have you uh, sitting up paying this dog on 30 year mortgage, uh, in debt, all of this stuff, car finance, all of this. Who gives a day? Man, if you got a car, if you got an old Toyota Corolla and that thing is rolling, ride it. Ride it. I'm telling you, man, you're spending, you will be spending way too much time and energy trying to please people that don't care about much of nothing other than vanity, other than perception, other than how uh, well they look based upon the labor of somebody else. I, I, I ain't budging like that. My wife be... My kids, they, they know they know good and well not to say no crazy. Now, here's the thing. I live on a homestead. I allow my kids to work. Now, if they want to work and say, hey, can I earn some money? Hey, I'll let them earn it like that. And if they want to go spend some money on some stuff that they prefer, oh, well. But while we out, what, what, what? You know, you got, you got kids out there. They whore wardrobe is more expensive than the parents' wardrobe. And you wonder why... They don't want to get out there and cut the grass. They don't want to get them doggone Jordans dirty. Buying some doggone boots. I'm telling you, man, you cannot, as a man, let these societal norms, these expectations of lawless, rebellious women shape how you conduct yourself and how you live life as a man. Man, you lay your offer on the table. Hey, this is what I can provide for you. I can provide the necessities. Man, if, if, if that ain't good enough for you as a woman, get, 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 get gone. Get gone. That's it. And see what else you get. See, don't you try to spin the block in about 10 years after life didn't hit you. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking a gun barrel straight. Wow.